Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's meal prep day again. I spend a couple of hours every week meal prepping to save time and money. And I usually meal prep for three to four days so that the food stays fresh in the fridge and I don't need to eat the same foods every day of the week. Um, this week I'm meal prepping for three days. I'm making breakfast just for myself and then lunch, snack and dinner for both my boyfriend and I. And all these meals will get you 100 grams of protein per day. But first, let's go to the grocery store to get some ingredients. You guys asked for more savory breakfast recipes, so this time I'm meal prepping tortilla egg cups. First, I add some eggs into a bowl with a pinch of salt and pepper. Then I greased a muffin pan and added a tortilla to each cavity to form cups. These gluten-free tortillas that I used break very easily, so they weren't the best for these. Then I poured the egg mixture into the cups. I also add some low-fat shredded cheese for more protein. And lastly, I add some chopped spinach and bell pepper. You could add any vegetables that you like. Then I bake the egg tortilla cups at 180 Celsius degrees, 350 in Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. I reheat these in the morning in the microwave. For lunch, I'm making a roasted red pepper pasta. First, I cut the bell peppers into quarters. Then I place them on a baking pan lined with parchment paper. I drizzle them with garlic infused olive oil and sprinkle salt on top. If you don't have IBS, you could of course add some onion to the pan as well for more flavor. Then I roast them at 230 Celsius degrees, 450 in Fahrenheit until tender, about 20 minutes. Meanwhile, they're in the oven, I cook the lentil pasta. After the peppers have cooled down a bit, I remove the skins. Then I add the roasted bell peppers into a blender with a handful of fresh basil, chili flakes, oregano, paprika spice, some salt and pepper, a few tablespoons of garlic infused olive oil, shredded parmesan, and lastly some milk. Then I mix the ready sauce with the cooked pasta. If you are serving it immediately, heat it up on the stove. I'm using lentil pasta since it's high in protein. Chickpea pasta works well too. Or you could of course use regular pasta as well and add some chicken for protein, for example. For snack, I'm making banana protein muffins. First, I mash three bananas. Then I add the eggs and unsweetened peanut butter. I use a peanut butter that is 100% made of peanuts. Then I just mix all the wet ingredients together. Next, I add some protein powder and baking powder, and lastly, some cinnamon for some flavor. Then I spoon the butter into a greased muffin pan. Mm -hmm. 
Lastly, I topped the muffins with some dark chocolate chunks. I used 80% dark chocolate. I baked the muffins at 180 Celsius degrees 350 in Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes. I store the muffins in an airtight container. I reheat them in the microwave before serving for 15 to 30 seconds. For dinner, I'm making pesto salmon and roasted vegetables. First, I wash and chop the vegetables. This time, I'm using zucchini, potatoes, and grape tomatoes. Then I spread all the veggies on two baking pans aligned with parchment paper. I drizzle some olive oil on top and add a pinch of salt. I roast them in the oven at 220 Celsius degrees, 430 in Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, I mix the ingredients for the yogurt dressing together. I'm adding a big handful of fresh parsley. Then I add some low-fat Greek yogurt which adds more protein to this meal. If you also have IBS like me, be sure to use lactose-free yogurt. Then I also add some lemon juice and lastly some salt and pepper. After the vegetables have been in the oven for 15 minutes, I take them out and add the salmon pieces onto the pans. Then I spread a generous amount of pesto on top of the salmon pieces. Then I put them back into the oven and bake for 10 to 15 minutes more until the salmon is cooked. Then I serve the salmon and the roasted vegetables with the yogurt dressing. And here are all the ready meals. Those were all the meals I meal prepped today, and as always, the written recipes are in the description box. Let me know down in the comments what kind of recipes you would like to see next. Hope you tried the recipes. Enjoy!